This is Bethany Nyers for JBC News. It's 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're here with Wendy, and she's getting ready to fill up the baptismal. Thanks for letting us come with you. You're welcome. This knob right here is what is like your big bathtub drain that you close to keep the water in, so you have to turn it and turn it and turn it some more <laughs> until you finally get it closed. And then this little lever is your water, and so we flip this switch, and you can hear the water turn on. And we let it run for about an hour and a half to two hours to fill it up. What temperature is the water? It comes out at a balmy 90 to 100 degrees. What are we doing now? So I put out towels and I make sure the robes are out and they're the right sizes for the people and that are being baptized. And then we just kind of wait. I think we have something floating. This is Bethany Myers reporting for JBC News. This is Tanner Milner reporting with JBC News. I am reporting today on Jersey Baptist Church's new blessing box. If you are hungry, you can stop by and get some free food. How did the blessing box come, idea come about? Melissa Myers saw it on Facebook, and she brought the idea to our pastor, and he then presented it to the mission team. And then last September, we just, trustees put it up for us. Now, is the blessing box being used? Very much so, uh, Tanner. People are in our community are taking items our pastor wanted to make sure that we were helping feed the people in our community. How can our congregation get involved? And they can give items, but there's another way if they want to volunteer on a monthly basis, then they can take responsibility for keeping it filled. Let's see what we have today. Paper towels, tomato soup, baby wipes, pairs of socks, bean bacon, some cherry mixed fruit, apple jacks, pop, dry yellow sprint pea, some neutral grain bars, sliced pickled beet, and we got a Bible, and a Jersey Baptist Church newsletter, sugar peas, some sweet corn. This is Tanner Milner reporting for JBC News.